Hello everybody, Sift again with another Blade Assault run. And uh, today we're gonna go with an axe. So let's see how the axe fares compares to the rest. Damage per sec. Oh, okay. So what's the damage per sec? Wanna wanna show me or what's happening here? Is this thing okay? Does it work? Well, whatever. Let's go. Let us -a go. Let's see how the axe compares to the normal weapon. Okay, first of all, it's lower. Already not to my liking. What's the... Oh, I didn't realize. Yeah, it has a different uh, different normal skill too, so... Let to use that a bit and see. Oh, it throws the axe. Okay. I'm gonna break those in the turning what so that's most likely one shot i don't like the axe it's slow and clunky do you guys like the axe more who likes the axe more do you like do you know people who like the axe more ice don't give me a nice weapon ice dash frost armor five percent less damage taken recharge one frost hour every second when three hours charge the arrows will fly enemies and yeah let's go with this I'm gonna charge some frost blades here in my back. Let's open this chest up. Was there another chest? I'm not sure there was. Uh, increases weapon damage. Again, let's go for more coins as always. It doesn't seem like I'm I, I ever run out of coins for chest openings. But uh, because I'm opening all the chests up, I cannot get a legendary. Let's go for Frost Core, obviously. I cannot go for a legendary on the side shop, I guess. Not side. Sh I, it's not the side shop. It's it's the the black market shop, whatever. The guy that is selling those for seven hundred. Okay, there ha there is an upside of using the axe. That would be that my skill one chest. My skill is actually a boomerang thing that goes through all the enemies, so... I guess there is an upside in using the axe. I, I was a bit too fast on... You know, deciding about the axe future, but right now we're in the start of the game anyway, so... Anything good? Of course, of course. You know, these elites don't really are... So right now, as far as I understand, the elites are either gonna have second life or uh, they're gonna... Yeah, I like this guy. Wait a minute. Why did that guy have a second life? I thought the icon for a second life was something else. Frozen spear. Frozen arrows are upgraded into frozen spears. Frozen spears pierce three enemies and push them back. I like that. Dash upgrade or sub weapon upgrade. Place the sub weapon with the frost arm. No, let's, uh, let's make my things in the back be better. Where are my frosts? I Bicycles. Are they not gonna spawn or what's happening? Chance to steal. When a stage battle begins, increases movement speed and weapon attack by 20% for 15 seconds. Wait, was that wasn't that like something well, whatever. Movement speed and weapon attack by 20% in the beginning of a room. Uh yeah, let's go with that. Let's try to go through when enemies faster. Let's go with electric core. Maybe we find an electric weapon. Would be nice. I like the dash on the last run. So now I should be running a bit faster and have more damage or what's happening here. Obviously, got hit again. This pierce went like sideways. Okay, it seems like, like I should always be starting with the boomerang blade whenever I can. It also has a lower cooldown than the spinny attack of the blade weapon. What? Well, you see, if, if I stayed there and charged that thing up to the max, I would have lost HP. So I could not understand, under normal circumstances, when are you going to charge that thing up? You don't have the meta progression that actually make charging worthwhile. Obviously, if you do have the meta progression that makes like the charge have charged two seconds faster or something, then you can do that. But if you don't... Let's get the lightning core. Give me something good. Yep, electric weapon. I'm most likely gonna pick. Yeah. 
gonna take the electric weapon. I don't care. A chest. I think it was only one. Normal weapon attacks 15%. First upgrade of this is always useful. After that, we will see. Midpoint. Let's see our new black merchant, what she does. First of all, what do you sell? Gems. Do you sell max HP? Skill cooldown. For how much? 200. I think difficult, danger difficult. Yeah, let's go for danger level and let's go underground. Full Sophia. I don't know what currency she uses and what she has as upgrade, so let's keep 350 in the back. You scared me, use the door. Who made something like this? It was me, huh? What's with the expression? It's nothing. I don't think we met before. I'm the white haired child with a ridiculous looking weapon. My name is Sophia. Since you're here, anyways, take a look at my works. Those large gears built by Honk you saw outside are just boring. You're not interested either, don't you agree? Buy, the, buy these little babies and I made them a spicy combat all thrill, you know. Uh, she's, as far as I know, the yeah, the curse merchant. Um, permanent increased dash count by 1 and also increased attack of normal attacks by 15%. Perfect, skill cooldown is doubled. Skill cooldown is my boomerang blade and my... I think it's just my boomerang blade. Increase attack by 30%, nice. Increase damage received from enemies by 30%. Ah, the classic curse. Reduce the MP cost of the sub weapon by 50. Reduces the damage of the sub weapon by 20. Okay, this is value for money though. Uh, double dash and attack speed by 50%. Yeah, I will take this. Double dash and attack speed 50%, definitely. Uh, let's go on. If it didn't give the, the attack speed, I would not consider it, but th now that it does give me attack speed... And the only downside is that I can throw the boomerang blade a bit more, less often. You know, I really like this. I would really like to have that thing with my my run, the, the run yesterday. So... You know, uh, one more dash, because I had the dash gives us electricity. Yeah, ta -ta -ta -ta. Boom! Oh, that thing pulled us in? Or did the enemies... I think the enemies just dashed. Maybe I can charge here. It was a joke. Seems like there is a way to dash. What happened? I need the weapon skill. I'm using the weapon once in a while, but if you don't have a weapon skill, let's get the fire core, obviously. Come on, give me the flame weapon. Sub weapon upgrade, yes. Replace the sub weapon with a flamethrower. I like that. Dash upgrade. No, I want the electric dash upgrade. Uh, Path of flames. Who cares about Path of flames? Let's go with the flamethrower. It does very little damage right now, because it's a white weapon, I guess, but still. When I say white, I mean common. I mean, common, so I have white battles in the letters in this game. So, fire growth, 7% more damage, increase weapon damage for space. Again, with the space. Let's get the healing. Let's drink one. This healing is worth like 200 or something. Let's get the fire core. Should have went with fire cores, do more damage. But I wanted the flamethrower, so at least we got that. Let's break everything so we don't backtrack. Flame, yeah, I'm I'm sure that the flame core, the flame flame is definitely worth it because it does 15 ticks, and uh, at the at the 10th tick, it's gonna apply burn. So nice, and also electric weapon is also nice because it's chaining up to the the ranged enemies. Don't forget, we have a chain a weapon that is actually electric. Because you could forget it. Flame! It also applies the burn debuff, so it's not really that bad. It's actually complete. Okay. Would be nice to have some other animations for enemies exploding. Like, don't just make them red and stunned. Make them, like, have some kind of burn animation. Something to. Increase damage dealt to enemies. 7% more damage dealt. Yes. And we also got the weapon upgrade coming up. 150. I think there was only one chest. If there was another one. Not my fault. 
Uh, let's go for once in a while, do like a big damage burst, bust. Let's see what this thing has. Cyclone Dash. When dashing creates an axe that revolves around the player's body, the spin attack deals damage times two consecutive. But I'm gonna most likely pick this up as I'm going for dashes. Whenever you attack an enemy with a normal attack, you gain a stack that increases your main weapon attack by 2% for each stack. You can have a maximum of 15 stacks that last 3 seconds. It's also awesome. Every third attack creates an explosion. This is also awesome. Everything of these is awesome. Let's go for the Cyclone though. Yeah, look at this. Now my, my dash is even better. Let's go to the boss room, most likely. Let's also drink a potion of my one of my bandages. Okay. But I remember that I have actually oops. Okay, I'm uh, I'm misplaying here. Let's open this thing up. Let's drink a pot. A uh, chance to heal. One percent chance to heal a bit. Increase sub weapon deck by 25%. Uh, let's go with this, I would say. Nah, no, let's go for the cheese. Although, to be honest, I'm not sure if the cheese is gonna heal us uh, more than whatever. Oh, I already got the cheese. I was about to say, I don't think the cheese is ever gonna heal us more than whatever. I, I should stop doing that. I'm always jumping into... I found another cheese, very nice. I was not expecting the cheese to heal us as much as the bandage was. Because the bandage is definitely gonna heal us for 75. I know you, my dude. I know you. Let's go. Let's be done with this fiasco. Shoot. I'm doing a bunch of damage to you. Charge! Uh, come down. Did I hit him though? Was that even worth it? I missed the flame. As he is missing his attacks, I am missing mine. At least this boss is easy. Ah, uh, come down, come down, my dude. Today. I tried. I just wanted to have some fun, but this guy isn't letting me. Okay, you're toast. I wanted to have some fun with the charge attack. I mean, I made already so much fun of the charge attack not being good. Uh, instantly recover HP. Yeah, let's go for max. Uh, increase max HP. Only max HP. I don't care about energy. I really don't care about energy, to be honest. I mean, I don't care about max energy. Energy region, etc. Uh, healing, I would say no. This guy, I have 166 petals, so Gale Axe increased by 20%. Increase the number of shockwaves caused by charge attack. This is never happening. Uh, every third attack, normal attack deals an AoE. Increase explosion damage. Increase the number of targets hit by Gale Axe. X. Uh, Gale Axe, I don't Wait, let's go for this. Let's try to get the Gale Axe full in. Hacker guy, let's go down to level 1 again. What do you sell? An ice core. I don't care about ice core. I have fire and water. What's my fire? Sub weapon. Let's go with the fire core upgrade. I don't think it's gonna upgrade the sub weapon though. Oh, it actually can. Double damage. It doubles its damage. Yeah, let's double its damage for sure. And let's go on. Instead of doing 5 5 5, it's gonna do 10 10 10. And when I say 10 10 10, I mean 10 10 10 15 times though. So. Burn! Okay, it does almost nothing. <laughs> no, actually, it seems like it did something. Chest number one, gotta remember that. Okay, that was a big fail. I see you there at the top. You know what? I see you too. Burn! And a cheese. Two chests. So I think when I throw out the boomerang blade, uh, it actually procs the electricity because I have a lightning weapon and it, instead of only doing damage, it also chains. So it seems to be a bit better than it seemed. It seems to be better than it seemed. You know, some, some, uh, some things actually make sense. 
Sometimes you understand what the other person says. Yep, this guy went down. You guys can like go down and spin and whatever. I'm gonna stay up here. You want this? You want this, huh? That thing isn't even destroying enemies at full charge. Come on, go down. These guys again. Stop, stop doing that. Where's my... Okay. Let's go with electric. I would like to get the electricity in my back. Whenever I dash. Can I get that? This is sub-weapon. Uh, this sub-weapon is covered into an electric cannon that deals 100% more damage to immobilize shock and freezing. No. Jump into the air. This is ultimate. Increase crit of all the chance. Crit rate. 4.5% crit rate. Or ultimate. Now let's go for the 4.5% crit rate. I don't really need the ultimate. I have two chests here. As far as I remember. And max HP, range, sub weapon does 25% more damage. Yeah, let's go with this. I'm using my sub weapon. And you give me increased main weapon skill attack. Okay, sub weapon attack. Let's go for even more sub weapon attack. So now this uh, the flaming thing should do a bunch more. Can I read up how much it does? Nope, I can not really. Uh, electric core, like, let's go for electric core. I really want the dash leaves electricity behind. I don't know why it's stuck to my mind so much. I mean, I believe it's one of the best ones. Might be wrong. So, enemies are gonna appear here. Stop just doing that, man. These guys just spin. Spin to win, and they destroy me. I, I... Okay. It's not that I don't do enough damage. Okay, let's leave the ground. Okay, after when I do that, I can not dash, I cannot do anything. When I do this, uh, the flame and... Okay, for, well, at least we just learned that you can actually freeze enemies and they will not, indeed, get unfrozen. So that's something, I guess. Purple Poison Mouse. Okay, let's run away. Okay, first of all, we found even more food. How can we find so much food sometimes? Give it toast. Okay, two chests is what I remember. And let's get... Come on, dash. Incre increases the number of chain lightning bolts and the number of enemies they hit. Max amount of chain lightnings increased by one. Chain lightning generated one. I like this. This is uh, the sub weapon projectile becomes electric bombs. Ooh, 230 damage with a single bomb. That's better than the one I have. But I want this for now. The more spread on electricity. Do I have enough for you? I do not have enough for you. Increase the number of targets by Gale. I can just take one of the other two. Increase the number of shockwaves caused and charged by two. No. Never you attack an enemy with normal attack, you gain a stack of 2% attack each stack. 15 stacks is 30% attack damage. Increase fire attack. Increases fire attack by 10%? No. I'm gonna keep whatever I have. I'm sorry. Open this thing up. While I also open this thing up. Well, the first one didn't open. Let's go for 20% crit chance. The damage, not chance. I know, I know. Uh, movement speed and attack speed. Let's make the cheese heal more. Let's go for the fire core. Avoiding the ice. Oh, instantly hit, as always. And again hit. Whoop, again? Come on, man. I mean, I can understand one and two times, but three? As if that means anything. 
me asking and saying things like that. Okay, there are two chests right now. Okay. So it seems like having all elements is actually a very good idea. What hit me again? These ranged units attack like so fast. And then all these damage immunities. <laughs> it feels like, you know, it feels like every single elite has the same passive. It's either gonna be after it dies it explodes, or it's gonna be after it dies it uh, lives more. And there isn't anything else. I hope this is not because I'm at low difficulties. Increase damage dealt to enemies by 2%. Hypercore burn. Uh, surround yourself with flames and then do a bunch of burn. Replaces the sub weapon with a flamethrower. I already have this. Yeah, let's make it 5% more damage. I'm not picking up the ultimate. Uh, I don't know why though. Maybe find some healing on one of those two. Set. Uh, upon defeating enemy. Set chance to earn one additional gem. Ice core. Let's get this. Chance to get some more gems. Healing, nice. Let's start drinking up. This is 75 health, so this is gonna be worth it over time. Whoops. Midpoint. Uh, do you sell food? No, I didn't want to pick that up. Well, it happened. Ice cores, I don't care. Lower the difficulty, please. Let's go down. I mean, the other guy wants like 700 or something, so might as well go for the curses. What do you sell? Reduce max HP by 25, increase weapon attack by 25. I like that. MP cost less, but less damage done. This is sub weapon, so I, I should maybe take this. Increase all attack by 30, but damage received is increased by 30. I think I should go for this, to be honest. 25% more damage for 25 less max HP. Yeah, let's take this. 225. Now we don't even need to heal that much. And also, if if you remember that we actually were playing this area with in the beginning with less HP. So now we transformed our meta progression into damage instead of life. Which is always a good choice. Obviously. Okay. Let's start healing. 7. 7 health is 7 health though. 2 chests. Burn. I did not burn the guy I wanted to. I tried to dodge. Okay. The first time I tried to dodge, the second thing I did not try to dodge it. We found food. You know, on this run... Let's let's uh, let's use our last bandit. Every enemy either gonna stay alive or straight up gonna explode. No middle ground. Okay, electric core it is obviously. Uh, the subbomb projectile becomes electric bombs for 200 damage. Now I'm keeping the fire increase crit. I know that these. I have seen a video that says that these electric bombs are really good, but uh, but I don't want to pick them up. Let's go. When dashing, shoot out chain lightning to nearby enemies. Five targets. Oh, I see it going backwards. Open this thing up. I ate my last band aid. This thing up too. A uh, chance to bleed the enemies or HP. Let's go with a uh, chance to bleed the enemies for 50 over 5. And let's also go with uh, first strike does 400 damage. So electric core, obviously electric core. I still want the dash leaves things behind. Strikes lightning. Especially now that I have the double dash. Is this the boss room? Actually, there is no boss room uh, that like that here, so... You're not gonna hit me, my dude. Is everybody toast? 
Wow. That was awesome. That could not have been done without a weapon. You know, maybe I should just stick around, stick away. No, that's not a possibility because I need MP. Ooh. It was an explosion guy, obviously. And a survivability. Are you gonna survive too? Yeah, he's a survivability dude. Avoided the spinny spinny. Avoided the spinny spinny twice. What is causing the freeze? I don't even remember. Oh, it's the spears. Yeah, it's the... <laughs> ah, this is the run where I have spears in my back. <laughs> I just realized. That's what happens when you lose track of how long you're in the run. Uh, da, 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 thibs and crit damage, temps and max HP. You know what? Give me this thing. I mean, at this point, I am actually using range to a damage. What is this? Increase the level of all ice cores. How many ice cores do I have? One, two, I guess. Well, do I even care? I'm gonna pick that up regardless. Frozen spear. Two things leveled up. Nice. Let's get an electricity core here. Um, increases electric weapon skill attack. Increase 15% damage. Yeah, nice. Energy charge runs per second. Nah, let's go for weapon electric 15%. Let's just go for 15% more damage. And let's go fight the boss and hope this time I can be jumping around at the speed of sound and not take any hits. This is not the boss. You know, I'm I'm starting to do some damage here. And my dashes uh, electrifying enemies is also really helpful. Actually, my dashes being overall useful is helpful. Yep, every dash leaving electricity that bounces between enemies, really nice. I still liked my thunder strikes better, but this is also fun, so might as well. Uh, let's pick open up. Uh, normal attacks do 5% more damage. Uh, now let's take that, I guess. Let's take this one too. And this is... Main weapon skill attack. Yeah, let's go for this, obviously, as I am actually using it. Please give me a shield. Frost weapon. Imagine the shield is here, three percent. Frozen spear do even more damage. I think I should go for frozen spear. Uh, let's go for even more frozen spear damage instead of three percent shielding once in a blue moon boss time. Let's see if we can survive this. Boomerang. Nice. Burn. Nope. I was jumping, man. This was a hard nope. Burn! I was jumping again. I was jumping again. Seems like I have to not only jump, but actually avoid. Nice burn! I missed everything. Okay. What are you doing? I don't... Nope. I did not know that this guy was gonna poison me. Okay, let's let's stay away from everything. Yeah, that's, that's better, I think. He's poisoning. So I can burn him. Nice. Nice. Burn down, please. Okay, you want to do this the hard way? I saw that coming. Okay, drink your poison, my dude. Come on, burn down. Nice. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. So I, I start learning how this guy works. What was that? Oh, do you think this is the end? Anything left? Of course, I have a gift left for you. Ah. Uh, is there a phase two or just animation? 
Ah, yes. Justin Mission. What would you have done if I wasn't here? Those guys are obviously... Said, no, I wasn't expecting that. It was dangerous. Okay, thanks. Someone could talk like that. Is that Elevator Armstrong? Don't try to change the sound. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, 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 go. Blunk, blunk, blunk. This did not look like a teleporter. It mostly looked like an elevator. Or did I read teleporter while they actually said elevator? What is that car behind me? I cannot move, just so you guys know. Okay, we are in the Noftilus again. Um, heal? I would say yes, but first drop the difficulty. And then level up the... <laughs> Uh, let's get healing. Let's not lose. 50, another 50, another 50. Okay, we're enough here. 300 on the dot, so we can get an upgrade. Very nice. Increase the number of targets hit by Gale Axe. I like this. The throwing axe flies slowly and deals damage multiple times upon impact. A thrown axe can be recovered by pressing the skill button again. Uh, I like this. Increase the number of shockwaves. I like this. Let's first of all take this. Actually, I can take this up to level 3. The spinning act leads damage on its return, and its return speed is slowed down. Generate one additional spin disc and increase the spin disc damage by 25. Generate one additional... I'm really on, on the spinning axe thing, but it has like 500 hours cooldown, so increase the number of targets hit by Gale Axe. Let's go Gale Axe again, and um, increase the number of shockwaves. Let's try this, let's try this. I wanna see this. I mean, I can just use the skill again to bring it back, right? And I can go for one of these three cores. I think I want to go for um, this one, lightning spread. I did not get, oh, I, I did not get lightning spread. Uh, so it's either 6% electric damage or 7 chains. Let's go for more chains and let's go. So now the idea is throw the spinning thing, dash around. I want to know how slow this is. There's my first. First of all, where are we here? Post apocalyptic, whatever thing. Okay. Okay. I get it. Definitely not what I was expecting. I might have broken my run. Just a heads up on that. Um, if I broke my run, I'm sorry, guys. I was not expecting that to be like that. I was expecting something completely different. Like, completely different. I thought it was just gonna go slow, and while it was going through enemies, it was gonna tear them apart, but that's not what this thing does. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be the exact same thing with the, that I already had, but uh, with uh, just being slower. Yeah, I, I destroyed my run, I'm sorry. This, uh, this run is pretty toast now. I lost one of my better skills. First, and I also don't know what the enemies are doing. Electric core. I'm really sad I, I, I bought that thing. Well, I'm gonna do the best I can. I'm not gonna stick here and be salty about it. Electric cores have a chance to being better. Nice. 10% chance. So that is something. And the stun every once in a while is also something. Let's get an electric core as we just got the 10% chance. Crit of all attacks. Two more uh, spreads. Better, better spreads. Electric Vengeance. No, let's get for the better spreads. And uh, let's go for the meta currency progression. Meta currency production. The meta currency. The meta currency. The end. <laughs> let's go for the meta currency. The end. <laughs> Whoop. What are these guys? They. Oh, they make spikes appear below them. Got it. Tentacles. Tentacles. Oh. Oh, these enemies spawn flies that come next to you and explode. Got it. I like when I dash all this electricity that goes around. I might use the spinning attack on some kind of boss that maybe is not moving. Oh, this does a bunch of damage if it sticks to an enemy. Okay. Enemies are actually attacking us. There are some flies that are following me around. 
And I see some tentacles in the ground. Get spiked. I think I do more damage with my dash attacks and my simple attacks than the spinny axe, so... I'm really disappointed about how that fared out. Uh, first of all, hopefully... <laughs> I just sneezed. Hopefully the sneeze was not heard. <laughs> because I tried to mute it. But sometimes it, does, it just doesn't happen. More damage. More meta currency? Uh, might as well. Might as well. Ooh, okay, okay. Burn. I'm not sure if um, if the area is actually extremely harder or if indeed I broke the run by picking up the spinny thing. So one chest, definitely one chest here. Let's bring this back. Danger levels going up. Yeah, we are still at danger level one, so... Definitely bad decision. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Let's uh, let's not be that sad about it. Three chests. Okay. So these guys spawn some flies and then the flies become explosions. Can you go down please? Give me the meta currency, four if possible. Two, nice, nice. So we are at the midpoint. I'm still gonna open up all the chests. I don't care that we are at the midpoint. There were three chests, right? Nope, there were two. And I'm most likely gonna eat food, so... It's a very high chance I'm not gonna be able to buy anything else. Fire core, do more damage. Yeah, might as well. Healing or fire... No, let's go for healing. Let's start eating up. So now that I got the healing, I might go for the underground business. Increase max HP of... Nah, let's go there. Take this up. And uh, now I cannot reduce the difficulty though, so... That's a bit bad. That's something that I should upgrade, to be honest. Let's go down and see what else we got for curses, although I don't have money to buy anyone. Oh, there are two left. So these are all the curses. MP cost of sub-weapon, reduce damage with sub-weapon. I could take this thing up and uh, take more damage. Okay, so I see there aren't that many curses. There are only four. Let's continue eating. Oh, that was that enemy. Spin! Spin back! Oh, it also has a, a crazily increased cooldown. It had like six seconds or seven and now it has like ten or something. This one's going pretty well, though, I have to say. You know why I said that, right? <laughs> because I want this to go down right now. I got, I, I cannot play anymore. I, I need to lose, so I <laughs> I decided to say the magic words. This is going pretty well. <laughs> you say those few tiny... Okay, first of all, I have to say that it's really annoying that you cannot dash cancel anything. If you if you use the flamethrower attack, you cannot dash cancel. So again, three chests. Spin in there, please. Spin down there. Oh, we found cheese. Nice. Okay, I think the spinny weapon does actually a lot more damage than the non-spinny weapon. Uh, the difference, uh, the only thing that is not, no, actually, the only thing that I have to keep in mind is that the spinny, the normal attacks, every 5 seconds do like a little burst of 500 per pop and also a stun every now and again. So, yeah. The enemy's not done? Nope, they're not. This guy and his small explosions, obviously. Uh, let's leave a spinny down there. Let's bring it back. Continue dashing here. 
Nice, some food. He was explosive, of course. He was one of the only three things that they can be. Uh, when I say three things, I mean two. <laughs> it was either going to be explosive or like we were keeping alive. More chance for some good ones. Chance at 20. 10% mm, chance to take less damage. Is there a lightning core here? Mm, yes, so I'm going to pick up everything lightning core related. Uh, let's take this and then let's also take the other one. 10% chance to get the lightning core. A better lightning core. That is. So I survive. Can you give me healing or something? Increase the level of electric core is perfect. Uh, no, I'm gonna pick up the electric core and then level every electric core up. Little damage. Thing damage causes uh dashing seven nine. Uh, shuckle enemies when you get damage. No, I'm gonna continue leveling up my dash and now I'm gonna level up everything. One, two, three, four, five. Five things leveled up. Very nice. And we continue with lightning course. Now my dash shoots out a chaining thing that chains. Open this thing up. Chain. Uh, uh, chance to. 5% chance to take one damage instead of whatever the damage would be. It's pretty decent in my opinion. So these enemies are going down pretty hard. I, I would like to know how good or not. Spin attacks. Spin attacks are fun. I mean, now that I'm also learning the items, I can... Yeah, this is the crit. Yeah, let's get the crit. Let's get the mini damage boost whenever we need it. For example, now. What's happening? Why are there so many enemies spawning? Oh, these mantis are ranged. Okay, I didn't realize, guys. I'm sorry. Well, we lost a lot of HP for me not realizing. But that's the name of the game. Okay, found some cheese. Explosions, of course, of course. Okay, uh, words to the wise, never again get an upgrade that seems to be messing with your build. Just try things out. Especially when you're using something very specific with, for your build, like the throwing a boomerang and clearing the screen. Okay. Uh, let's first open up all the chests. Okay. Oh, I opened the rest up. Nice. Increase all healing effects by 3%. Dashing does more damage. Let's go with this. But I think it's too late. <sighs> Chain lighting bolt generated even more. Main weapon upgrade. Normal attack. Increase electric with normal attacks. And the shock grenade. Let's go for even more damage. Maybe I should do this, to be honest. Maybe I should do this. Nah. <laughs> Let's continue with electricity. I'm not doing that because right now the flame gauntlet actually does a bunch of damage. I know the stun is good, but the flame damage is also good, so... I'm sorry. Well, that was it. My axe is still spinning though, so... <laughs> And I left the axe on the enemy territory. Okay, so uh, spinny axe, never again. Never again. Let's first go unlock the weapon real quick so we don't mess up and waste our currency. Weapons here. Charge, laser, little charge, little charge. Do 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 do. This looks fun. I don't know, this actually looks fun. Can I not? 
I want to see the Mega Charge difference. There isn't a big difference. And the weapon... Ooh! This was awesome! Throwing out some... Wait, does it recharge? Does it have bullets? Oh, it has bullets! Wait, how long does the recharge take? Ah, not that much. Okay, then. And uh, does it not have passives or what's happening? Recharge to energy for each enemy defeated. Nice. Based on the distance from the enemy, damage increased by 10% for each unit distance. Okay. When an enemy is successfully hit with a skill, increase attack speed and movement by 3%. I would say... Uh, yeah, let's go for more damage done. Wait, how much cooldown does this thing have? Six. This has, this has no cooldown. So I could spam the ranged weapon. No, I'm already gaining quick... Yeah, let's go for this. Level it all the way up to the max for the weapon. Based on the distance with enemy, up to 6% more damage done. Very nice. Do you dog do anything? Okay, he does not... She does not do anything. He can start us with... Normal attacks are replaced with short range radial shot attacks. Okay. We're only 10 coins. Let's go see with the cubes if I can upgrade anybody. Uh, definitely not. Uh, I would say what and get Sophia's lab from the Hotel Halonia. You can push his gear, Sophia, for a lower price. Gear price 150, 120, 90. You realize that she's selling for 300, right? So I don't even know how these numbers match up to reality. So I'm only, I'm always, always talking with Leo. So let's obviously upgrade Leo, so that I cut it costs 200. Treatment fee, it says 80, 120, 150 if I level her up, but uh, she costs 250 right now and heals for 50, so I don't even understand. Uh, yeah, let's buy her, and then uh, you can purchase gear from Jean for a lower price at B1 on the JS bar. I think this guy just gives you starting equipment, so let's actually make, uh, let's make this guy cheaper. Yeah, let's make this guy cheaper because I'm not always gonna pick up all the curses. So there's that. Let's also go into the dojo. Am I 10 level? I am 10 level. So now I can start unblocking secondary upgrades. Attacking an enemy with a skill will create a, sh a stack. When the stack reaches 10, you can perform a charge attack. Attacking with a skill while charging will deal 50 additional damage. Wow. Deal 5% additional damage to enemies with 50% less HP. Okay, that's nice. Attacking an enemy with Increase attack speed by 10 for 7 seconds. 10% for 7 seconds. I'm gonna assume that's gonna be up to 50% for 10 seconds. Uh, I like this though, because this is most likely gonna go up to 25% more damage dealt to enemies below 50% HP. When you take damage, reduce damage taken by 6%. 5 seconds. When you take damage, increase your evasion by 6% for 5 seconds. Recover 5% of your damage taken by an elite every 1 second for 5 seconds after dealing damage to an elite. Let's do this. Let's get some healing in. 5, 7.5, 10, 10, 12.5, 15. So recover 15% of the damage taken by an elite every 1 second. So if, so 5 times 15 is 75. So I should be healing 75 back of the damage that they did to me if I attack him. That's how I understand this. If that's not the case, well, I don't even know. Uh, although I wanted to go for this, deal 5 additional damage to enemies that are low life, I think I will go for the stacks. Uh, yeah, let's go for the stacks. Cooldown 15 seconds. Uh, I would like to know the upgrade of that, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Anyway, that's uh, that's gonna be it though for today, so hopefully you guys like this. I'm also gonna do a run with the weapon, and after that run with the weapon, I will decide if I will continue running the series or not. I mean, as far as I know, after that area where we died, there is nothing else, so there are like only three areas right now. At least that's as, as far as I know. Uh, the reality might be different <laughs> from my knowledge. Anyway, uh, that's gonna be it though for today, so thanks for watching first of all, and uh, if you liked, leave a like and help out the channel, guys. And if you'd like to help out the channel even more, maybe help us on Patreon, you know? Maybe, maybe, you can do whatever you want. Uh, still, thanks for all the support I'm getting from everybody, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and see you guys around.